Fabrizio Romano reports that Bayern Munich is optimistic about extending Joshua Kimmich's contract, which expires in 2025. Kimmich is now more open to negotiations, despite interest from PSG, Barcelona, and Real Madrid. His ability to adapt to the right flank at Barcelona is also appealing, especially considering that Hul's Conde currently lacks an experienced backup other than the young Hector Fort. Barcelona has long targeted Kimmich for his versatility, but recent reports suggest he prefers staying at Bayern. Joshua Kimmich said that playing against Barcelona has always been special for him. But what makes Wednesday's game even more significant is Hansi Flick's presence. Kimmich has the advantage of a strong working relationship with Flick, having been coached by him at Bayern Munich and with the German national team. Playing against Barca is always special, and then against Hansi, of course, the reunion will be very special too. Kimmich shared his thoughts on the rivalry between Lewandowski and Kane, noting their different styles. Kane contributes to the overall game with strong passes, while Lewandowski focuses on scoring goals. They're two players who can't be directly compared. Harry likes to be more involved in the game and can sometimes make a perfect 10-yard pass. Louis is more focused on scoring himself. Both help the team a lot with their style. Danny Omo expressed his ambition to achieve great things with Barcelona. He stated, At Barcelona, I want to accomplish everything. My goal is to keep winning and give a lot to the fans. Omo feels confident in his decision to join Barcelona. I started well here because of my personality. I was sure Barcelona was the best club and team for me, he said. He mentioned that knowing several players helped him settle quickly. The midfielder highlighted his connection with teammates Pedri and Lamina Yamal. I knew I would play perfectly with them. They make things easier. Olmo also praised his teammate Rafinha's relentless work ethic. Rafinha seems tireless. I tell him, Rafa, be careful with all that high pressing you're doing. He always has the desire to win the ball back. Barcelona forward Ansu Fati is dealing with significant tendon issues in his thigh, affecting his performance. This recurring problem prevents him from fully extending his leg, essential for the quick sprints a forward needs. Due to this limitation, no coach, including Roberto De Zerbi, who gave him a chance during his loan at Brighton & Hove Albion, seems inclined to rely on him regularly. Although he's been medically cleared for some time, Ansu hasn't been a consistent presence in Barcelona's lineup, mainly appearing when other options are unavailable. Reports suggest his condition is worse than initially thought, affecting his ability to train and perform at his previous level. The club is concerned, as they rely on him for their attacking strategy, but his ongoing injury raises doubts about his future. According to Fichages, Lionel Messi is interested in strengthening Inter Miami's squad by pursuing the 21-year-old Barcelona forward Ansu Fati. Injuries have hindered his progress, and his involvement with the team has been inconsistent. Messi's interest in Ansu could represent a crucial moment in the young player's career, which has suffered setbacks due to injuries in recent seasons. Joining Inter Miami could give Ansu the fresh start he needs to rediscover the form that once thrilled fans in both Spain and Barcelona. A change of environment might allow him to regain his confidence and showcase his skills more consistently. Although Ansu recently started the match against Sevilla, his position in the starting lineup remains precarious. Ansu Fadi's position at Barcelona is uncertain as he continues to struggle with consistent performance. Reports suggest the club may consider his departure in the January transfer window, with Fenerbahce emerging as a potential destination under Jose Mourinho. With interest from Inter Miami as well, he could get a fresh start to revive his career. Rafinha discussed his approach to the current season, stating, The mentality I've started this season with is different compared to previous seasons. He added, The confidence Hansi Flick and my teammates have in me is very important. Being the captain of Barca is also special. Regarding his captaincy, Rafinha explained, Being a captain isn't just about wearing the armband. It's about helping the veterans, the young players, listening to them, and seeing what they need. I try to be available to everyone as much as possible. He emphasized his increased commitment this season, saying, If I worked 100% before, now I'm working 200%. Rafinha also addressed rumors about the potential signing of Nico Williams, saying, Seeing my number 11 shirt with Nico Williams' name on social media during the transfer window was very disrespectful. We need to respect the players who are here, no matter who they are. According to Paco Gonzalez of Cope, Real Madrid is now in the race to sign Nico Williams in the summer of 2025. Although Nico has expressed happiness at his current club, a move to a bigger team seems likely. On the other hand, while Real Madrid's interest might complicate things for Nico, Barcelona holds an advantage in the race. The club has built an extensive network to sign Nico during the summer, which could come in handy next year. More importantly, Real Madrid is only likely to approach Nico if they sanction the sale of key players like Rodrigo and Vinicius Jr., which is not expected to happen soon. Nico has also previously expressed a preference for Barcelona's playing style, making a move to Catalonia appealing to him.